I'm Mike Jack. I've broken multiple world records and won several competitions for eating some of the world's hottest peppers. Now, I'm challenging London restaurants to make some of the world's hottest food. Let's jack up the heat. I'm about to visit a restaurant known for making the best pizza in London. And they're gonna challenge me to eat the world's hottest pizza. So let's jack up the heat at Zenza Pizzeria. So I'm here with uh, Wayne and Jocelyn, the owners of Zenza Pizzeria. Tell me all about Zenza. How'd you guys get started and everything? I really felt that one of the things that was missing here in London was a really excellent vegan pizza. And then Wayne and I met, uh, we were having a conversation one day about it because a friend of his owned a pizzeria, suggested this concept where we would have a, a very inclusive style menu. So we would have something for everybody and make that option available so that families could come out and dine together regardless of what their dietary restrictions or choices were. And the Zen piece, of course, comes, I, I do teach yoga and Qigong and whatnot, so that's kind of the Zen piece. And we wanted people to be able to come in here and like just lay down a vibe here and nourish people on all levels, emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually, and fill their bellies with really good pizza. You guys are one of the top-ranked London restaurants on TripAdvisor. Wow. We were for, um, for a good solid two years. My dream, just when, I, when we started this, was to be the number one pizzeria in town. And we achieved it, and I was fine. We were top 10 for, I don't know, I would say three months. And then we went to nine, and then eight, and then seven, and then three, and then two, and then to one. So we shook up the list a little bit. Um, is that important? It is a little bit, uh, just because people do go, where's the best pizzeria in town? And that will show up first. Yeah. Same thing with Google. So we're very, very fortunate. We're actually number two right now to uh, another restaurant, which is actually a block away. Out of, out of restaurants, not out just of restaurants. pizzerias. Yes, yeah. out of restaurants. So we are now the number two restaurant in all of London, which is wonderful. There's. I think there's uh, 1,300 restaurants oh, wow. or places to eat here in London, and we're number two, especially from what we do, being all inclusive and everyone's happy to be here. Mixed couples come in here all the time where he could be the carnivore, she could be the vegan, or he could be the dairy-free, she could be the vegetarian. So we have all of these different mixes. I always tell the story. We had the best family come in and where the father was a carnivore, the mother was a vegan, the first daughter was vegetarian, the second daughter was dairy-free, and the third child, the son, was gluten-free. They all had their own pizzas and they all walked out happy. And that meant a lot to us. We did have a couple from uh, Michigan, came in for dinner and then they came for lunch when we had lunch open. And I was like, oh, well, what brings you to town? And they were like, your pizza. And I said, you drove all the way from Detroit? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you, this is the best pizza we have found. Anywhere. He grew up in, an, uh, in Ethiopia, in an Italian colonial city. Okay. So obviously there's some aged knowledge there when it comes to pizza and he loved it there. And then when he came here, he found it. He's like so happy, so. So maybe Zenza Pizzeria isn't only the best pizza in London. It could be the best pizza in the world, right? Well, my shirt says world peace through pizza. <laughs> which is really about not, not necessarily being the best pizza, but you know, offering people the possibility that when you're happy with how you nourish yourself on all levels, then you walk out in the world and you spread that ripple of goodness out. So if someone came into Zenza Pizzeria and they're looking for something spicy, what do you guys have to offer them? Well, after today, we might have a lot more to offer them. <laughs> oh, yeah? We do have uh, a, a few different things. Like, we always have our, um, like, banana peppers, hot peppers here. We generally also have fresh jalapenos, chili flakes. We have your hot sauce. My hot sauce? We have yes. your hot sauce. Your hot oh. sauce. Yes. It's flying yes. off the shelves. Um, <laughs> And then, uh, oh, and like we, we have the nuts for cheese chipotle cheddar that we always have in-house mm -hmm. um, for plant-based. We came across some ghost peppers, so they'll be on that. Oh, yeah. We have Thai chili peppers, which are phenomenal, beautiful flavor. And I, I guess I'm going to see you sweat today. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that, right? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so before we get into making the world's hottest pizza, how about we check out uh, some of your other menu items, eh? I do have a few things for you. The oh. numbskulls. Oh, yeah? And a hot zug. I can't wait. Let's try them out. All right. What we're going to do is the numbskulls. So what we do is we actually, these are actually cake pans, pizza-filled numbskulls. So what I'm putting in there right now is the cheese. I'll just drop that in there. And we're going to put some more cheese on the inside. Obviously, layers and layers of cheese. Put in a little extras. Here and there, we're gonna put in your sauce with your handsome face on it. And then we're gonna put in caramelized onions. So we're making a uh, special hot numbskulls for me, but what kind of numbskulls can people usually get? Oh, well, they actually could get pretty well anything on the menu. The beautiful thing about our menu is that it's super flexible for pretty well anyone. So we'll get some uh, heat in each one of these. And we're gonna top this up with a little more cheese. Nice. You definitely wanna make sure that face comes out really cool. Wonderful. Okay, I'm just gonna sauce this up, throw them in the oven for a few minutes. While we're waiting for those numbskulls, can you make a uh, hot zog? Hot zog? Absolutely. Let's start with our, uh, our half a crust, because it is an actual hot dog in a half of a pizza. So I just added on raw onions, and now we're on to the organic sauerkraut. And then we're gonna get right into the relish side of it as well. So we have multiple different types of cheese we already have in there. And we have spots of vegan cheddar, our turmeric-based mustard, and then we have organic ketchup. All right that. Pop this in the oven for one minute. So here they are here. A little bit of decoration. This is just a garlic sauce. I don't know if we want to add a little bit more. Because <laughs> we can. There's the numbskulls. So the idea of the numbskulls is that you could just uh, eat it like it is or you could put on a little extra. What do you want? Some people like it saucy. What I like to do is just kind of kind of eat the top off and then you can just kind of fill the brains with more sauce, right? That's a great idea. <laughs> All right. Well, see you later, Mr. Numbskull. This is a good Numbskull. <laughs> for me, it's not spicy, but for most people, this is probably going to be a spicy Numbskull. We could test it. James, do you want to try one? Immediately. It's getting you warmed up. Yeah, that's warm. Cool. Getting warm. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, there's heat. Something real. Okay, yeah. Oh, happy day. James is gonna be uh, joining us a little later for the world's hottest pizza challenge. Another. Oh, the aroma. Love this oh, aroma. Oh yeah. So. I really smell the mustard. Yes. Gonna get that in there. Roll this up. Sloppy goodness. Maybe you'll see why people line up for this. There it is right there. So we do all the diet for this. We do the gluten-free version, we do vegan, we do dairy-free, and uh, of course we have the carnivore version as well. One of my favorite things to do on a nice warm summer day is stop on in the Zen's Pizzeria, pick up a hot dog, go for a little walk down Ivy Park and enjoy. Oh, dig it? All right. It's like a hot dog and a pizza had a baby. <laughs> All right, so we're making the world's hottest pizza here. Wayne's uh, already got it going. What, what have you got here? Well, we have uh, minced up uh, Carolina Reapers, and there's going to be about 20 of them inside of one pizza. 20 of the world's hottest pepper. We actually pulled out the, the crust a little bit further, and we stuffed it with the vegan cheese and uh, Thai peppers as well. So there's a nice little buzz there. We have your um, your wonderful hot sauce and it can be mixed in or laced with the cheese. <laughs> so we're gonna cheese that up. And now we're gonna add on some, because I know you love your sweet. Oh yeah. Never any canned pineapple ever. No. That's what makes it amazing is the fresh pineapple. It's not really a pizza without pineapple on it, right? <sighs> Ooh. Oh, oh, controversial. Look Un at you. Unfollow. <laughs> now we're going to put this in the oven. So this is where the toppings come in. And I'm going to get my uh, 
sous chef Caesar to come in. What we're going to top the, this pizza with is uh, Vietnamese inspired salad, green, green papaya, cucumber, um, carrot, and some shiitakes with a sweet and sour um, and hot, of course, dressing. And just gonna top it off with a nori drizz and fresh basil. All right, let's finish this off. A little bit of contrast. This is a garlic drizz. Just nice. to have that little bit of extra flavor with that punch in the face. That is a beauty. I sure hope you enjoy this. I'm sure that I will. I'm gonna go to the spectator stand and watch. All right, thank you so right. much for- uh, Good luck. For making this uh, Mike Jack Thai pizza for me and- uh, It's actually my honor. Let's give her, let's get right. it done. Let's I'll go. Do it. I'll do it for you, okay? Let's go. All right, so here we are. We're gonna be trying the world's hottest pizza. All right, you guys ready for this? Yes, yeah, so sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right, so uh, what's what's your name and how are you a spice? I'm um, James Timothy, intermediate level, beginner, amateur, <laughs> scared. I'm Susie, and I love ghost peppers, but this is scaring me. I'm Santiago, and I would say yeah, intermediate to. A little bit it's spicy, but this looks dangerous. I'm Bernie. Uh, I like it hot, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and I'm Mike Jack, uh, and this is my show. Just do what you can. Three, two, one, go! It's really delicious, but it's getting a little warm. What do you guys think? It grows, it grows on you. Mm -hmm. Just give it a second. The salad bit's on the top. Mm. The That's delicious. This texture, oh. oh. <laughs> this texture, this texture, was the texture. This yeah. texture. Oh. Play your bike, play your bike. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's warm, it's creeping up. I'm not doing too bad so far, but. It's quite hot, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really, not, it's really delicious. There is, I'm still tasting a lot of flavors and things in there. How about you guys? You can feel it all the way down, can't you? <laughs> There's one slice down. How are you guys doing? Uh, I got three little, three little bites. Yeah. That's a whole slice. Woo! Good job, Jim. Good for you. Yeah, okay, I'm pleased with myself. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, Come with me, Mike. You got this. Come with me, Mike, though. Another slice would almost be stupid. Got another slice down. No. I'm calling it. I'm out. Too far. Yeah. Pineapple. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. It's getting. It's getting a little bit hotter. That's a Carolina Reaper, then, eh? That's the Carolina Reaper heat. Yeah. How many of you in there? Uh, there was there was twenty on each pizza. Twenty? Yeah. James is almost done too. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Woo! That really does hurt quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, but... <laughs> Does somebody turn the heat up in here, or...? I think I'm gonna have a sip of the emergency milk. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Another slice? No. Another slice? Woo! 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 Oh, oh, this is just a... It's a lot of pizza, too. <laughs> we did say it was gonna get to about 26 degrees today. <laughs> I just didn't expect it was gonna be in my mouth. I'm not sure I can seal the full time appeal of this, Michael. <laughs> you know, no. this is this is quite a hobby you've got. That's where the work, real wielders. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. It's yeah, Jesus, so hot. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep talking just so I can kind of like, so I don't forget how to. <laughs> it's like building up. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty hot, but I've had hotter. It's uh, it's like really feeling though, trying to eat like a. Like a whole pizza, it's kind of kind of struggling. My nose is uh, starting to cry a little bit. Thanks, uh, Way and Jocelyn, and the Zedza Pizzeria crew. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. On Jack Up the Heat. The Hot Sauce Co. is a
a small batch, all natural premium hot sauce company. Uh, I got started actually in my apartment kitchen while I was attending Fanshawe. I studied IT and uh, we started a hot sauce club there. Uh, I was bringing our habanero, our first edition of the habanero on mango hot sauce, uh, just in mason jars, letting people try it out, kind of testing out the scene and uh, people really liked it. I, you know, started selling it to friends and family and uh, before I knew it, we kind of snowballed into what we are today. Our staples right now, and which have been from day one, are our peppers and pickles, which is kind of like a sour, tangy, spicy, uh, relish consistency. The number two in the lineup, going as far as spice goes, is our habanero and mango. Uh, we use a fresh cumin salsa that we make. We blend it in with fresh mangoes, fresh habaneros. Um, and then it's got kind of like a Caribbean spice blend on the finish. And then finally, we have our habanero and herbs which is a yellow sweet pepper base with yellow habaneros. And the spice blend in there, the herbs in there, are coriander and cloves. So it really goes well with any kind of Middle Eastern dishes, um, as well as grilled meats. Our website is pretty straightforward. It's thehotsauceco.com. Um, our Instagram is at thehotsauce.co. Uh, Facebook, The Hot Sauce Co. YouTube, The Hot Sauce Co. You can check out all of, all of our locations. You can buy directly online. Uh, you can watch some videos about how the company got started and kind of learn a little bit about me and yeah, you can find all of that on, on our website. I'm about to visit a hot dog restaurant that's known for their wild assortment of toppings and they're going to challenge me to eat the world's hottest hot dog. Let's check out the heat at Frankenfurters. All right, so I'm here with uh, Dave, the owner of Frankenfurters. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Frankenfurters, how I got started. Uh, Frankenfurters was actually built on uh, me wanting a hot dog late at night during COVID. I couldn't find a good one, so I'm like, I'll create a restaurant. So do you have like um, set like kind of specialty toppings on your menu, or is it kind of like a pick your own adventure sort of thing? Well, we kind of do a, a kind of combination of both. We have some specialty ones where you thought of late at night when you're really hungry. Some crazy ones where like you, we call screw the diet, because you know, yeah. it's, it's 2 a.m. You're eating a hot dog. Why not just throw everything on there? Because it's gonna hurt anyways. But uh, we have our our options are really kind of endless. We have I think 70 to 100 toppings at any given time between sauces, meats, and cheeses. So your your mind's the limit. So what are some of the toppings that you have here that you won't find at like a normal like hot dog stand? Well, you're gonna find uh, house made dressings and sauces here because we, we try to do everything scratch made. You're gonna find like real Russian dressing made in house, your garlic aioli, a chipotle aioli that we make in house is amazing. Uh, but you're gonna find potato chips and mac and cheese, um, corned beef. Uh, bacon is really kind of like a, like a secondary food group to us. So we pile on bacon onto everything. And that salty goodness is our kind of our trademark. So if uh, someone's coming in here looking for something spicy, what kind of stuff do you have to offer them? Well, we got a few good options. Um, in house, we like to serve. Uh, the hot sauce company um, whenever we can. We also have what's called the seven layers of hell. Uh, it's our own in-house little side challenge we created from day one just so people get a sample of different hot sauces. So it starts out number one, it goes through number seven. Each one's like a rainbow of flavor. So by the time you're done, your entire mouth is on fire and you're hoping that you put something else on there at one point. So uh, what's next for Frankenfurters? Uh, well, next is our, uh, our next big challenge is we're gonna call it the 666 challenge. It's got uh, six different peppers in it. It's six minutes uh, to finish the meal, which is a hot dog and fries, all covered in the sauce. And then six minutes of afterburn, which I think will take down most people. Yeah. During the event, you can't have any napkins or drinks. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's go into the kitchen and uh, make a couple things, eh? Sounds great, we'll take you in there. Cool. So it's a busy night here at Frank and Furter's and I got Max here. Uh, Max is just gonna show me how uh, to make a couple things. So uh, what are you making there now? So right now I'm making uh, three hot dogs that we have on a menu, which is Memphis, California, and Screw the Diet. Those are the most popular one actually. So it's actually uh, perfect timing that I'm doing this uh, hot dogs right now. So what are uh, what are some of the, the toppings you got going on there? So uh, these uh, hot dogs are mostly composed of bacon. The California has grilled onions, grilled peppers, and the uh, Screw the Diet has pulled pork, bacon, barbecue sauce. Memphis is basically uh, cheddar cheese, some bacon on top, and some green onions. So all the, uh, the hot dogs that has cheese, yeah. you put them straight in the oven, toast the, toasted together with the buns. You have an option of not toasting the bread or you want it toasted. So what kind of cheese you got there? This is cheddar, 
Do you think this is an order for one person or do you think it's more than one? I doubt. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even finish one hot dog by myself with a side of fries or poutine. No, I doubt it. <laughs> How long are the hot dogs on the grill for? I would say five to seven minutes. Uh, depending on what uh, sausage I'm cooking, we have Oktoberfest, which, which cooks a little bit longer. This is the all beef that we have. We have an option of uh, vegan, vegetarian. Um, we also have chicken. So this one is actually uh, the screw the diet. So this one's mayonnaise, and we finish it off with some crispy onions. So this one is the California all beef hot dog. We got grilled onions, grilled peppers, together with the bacon. And then that's it. Frankfurters is known for their hot dogs, but they don't have just hot dogs. They also have burgers. That's correct. What I'll be doing right now is our homemade 100% beef uh, burgers. We just start with the uh, the burger patty, some oil on the grill, put it there, we need some salt, and smash the burgers. And that's uh, our smash burgers from the name itself. Oh, that's how you smash a smash burger. That's correct. And what I have here is some brioche buns, just waiting to have that caramelization on the patties. And then what I can do right now would be the dessert which is going to be the deep fried Oreos. So basically, the deep fried Oreos is uh, we dip them in uh, pancake batter oh, yeah? and straight in the uh, fryer. Yeah, just in case, you know, you're not, you're not full enough, you want some dessert sort of thing, you know? Even though the, uh, the portions are pretty big here. Oh, just right in there, right? That's correct. So, Look at those bubble. And just as quick as that, we got ourselves some deep fried Oreos. Oh man, it smells so good. And then we finish it with some icing sugar, a choice of uh, sauces on your preference. We got chocolate, we got raspberry, we got caramel, we got vanilla. After the deep fried Oreos, we're just waiting on our burger to finish. Some slices of bacon. Oh, gotta smash the bacon too. <laughs> correct, that's <laughs> correct. We got ourselves a cheese burger. All right, well that was uh, fine and dandy, but now it's time to jack up the heat. We're gonna take on the 666 challenge. So we're gonna put together the 666 challenge here. So what is that? That's uh, six peppers. Six minutes of uh, eating. So you have the six minutes to finish the meal and then six minutes of afterburn. So what do we got first here? All right, so we're gonna start with our base. So our, this is our six pepper sauce. We've got jalapenos, habaneros, scotch, scotch bonnets, weary, weary peppers, uh, green chilies and the chipotle chipotles on it. There we go. See, that's a nice base. It doesn't yeah. look too scary. We're gonna bump it up because we've got ourselves Trinidadian scorpion pepper and ghost pepper hot sauce, courtesy of the hot sauce company. And we're, so we're gonna top that up here just to give us some flair. This one's a special mash. Last one here, just the mash. The thick one, just enough to get you through there. Ooh, well, we can't stop there. You're, nope. you're, you're, you're royalty to us right here. Oh, well, thank you. So we're gonna throw on some fresh habaneros some cooked habaneros get that capsaicin out everyone deserves a little sweet treat some some jalapenos oh. they're mild right yeah these these like candy it's like salt on their fries so the hot dog itself pretty simple that's not a real challenge it's only a hot dog right uh yeah it's only a hot dog, only a hot right? dog. We, we don't do anything small here we got ourselves our base here again our six pepper hot sauce all right with our french fries give there us a nice go. toss and just like that you got your right. challenge is born you ready? You excited? I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's go do it. Yeah. All right. So we're ready to take on the 666 challenge here at Frank and Furters. Let's meet uh, some of my uh, partners in crime here. So what's your name? My name is Adrian. I go also by DJ Arctic. I love the spice, especially the Carolina Reapers, Ghost Peppers, Trinidad Scorpion. I can't hold a candle to this man, but I'm going to try. And what's your name? Hey, what's up? My name is Andy Pacheco. I love eating spicy stuff. I Anything that just gives it a kick, um, welcome it. What's your name? Um, Gavin. Um, eat here on the regular. I'm always eating the spiciest stuff here. So I'm ready to take it to the next level. Yeah, everybody loves spicy food here. All right, so let's see how we do. Dave's going to tell us the rules again. Six minutes to eat the hot dog and fries in total, and then six minutes of afterburn, at which there is no napkins. There is no drinks during the entire challenge. So hand over those napkins. Those are, the, those are the, just to entice you for now. Three. Two, one, go! 
we are doing the first bites. I see sweat on the end already. We're seeing some different strategies here. Everyone's going for the hot dog first. Be careful, don't touch your eyes anywhere near your face there, guys, just in case. We're gonna see some struggling here on the end. <laughs> and look at that, he finishes the hot dog at three minutes and 35 seconds left. Now comes the challenge of the fries. They're heavily dosed in our first blend of six pepper hot sauce. Halfway through, guys, you recommend this challenge to anyone at this point? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should have started with the fries. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good. Doing good. You guys got this. We got two people down the hot dog working on the fries. Mike Jack's halfway through his fries already. <laughs> oh, man. We got two minutes Very left good. on the dot right now. Lots of time, guys. Power through, power through. <coughs> Are we feeling it on the lips already? Yeah. Oh, 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 and look at that. First one done. You got six minutes after her. Now you gotta sit there and let it just do its thing. It was delicious. <laughs> I liked it. I was I was a little worried about the time there, but I guess I I guess I killed it. <laughs> I probably would have gone the other way around, done the fries first, I think. It's tough because you wanna like with a with a hot dog bun, you wanna like drink water, you wanna like you know, dip it in the water or something to eat it faster, but couldn't do that, so <laughs> added to the challenge for sure. 30 seconds. Come on, do it. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. Oh, this guy's almost done. There. Do it, do it, do yeah, it. Look at that. All right, through. There you go. Oh, number two, go. And there we go, guys. Six minutes in. Put the forks down. We want to congratulate the two people that got through the first part and the two unfortunate losers who didn't get through the first part. Oh, oh. <laughs> I prefer to say just uh, non-winners. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> it's hot. Uh, I think? really like can't feel like um, the inside top part of my lip. <laughs> if you can picture where that is, but um, I'll be fine. Uh, I was surprised by like the the taste of like the fries. Like I, I believe I should have started with them. Like. They were so good. <laughs> Where did it hit you there? It sounded like you were doing pretty good at the start. In the middle, there was like a big lump, and it just bam. Oh. <laughs> got, me, got me, slowed me down quite considerably. You hit a wall right there. I hit the other wall of shame instead of the wall. Of no pain, no gain like you. <laughs> <laughs> Say the other hot sauce, the number seven, is still way hotter. Than you think it was way hotter though? Okay. Way hotter. Than I would be dying. Right now. That was number seven. <laughs> yeah, that's a shout out. That's a shout out to our seven levels of hell hot dog. This one here is a challenge of everything doused with uh, six six pepper sauce. Yeah, that tastes good. Pepper. I like the flavor of the pepper. It's just like right six minutes. Nah. <laughs> thanks, Dave and Mac and everybody at Frank and Furters. Uh, thanks you guys for taking on this challenge with me, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Jack Up the Heat. <laughs> <laughs>